Welcome to this week's news episode. This week's news episode, we're looking at the main stories that are happening in the Nissan-Renault alliance. One, Nissan have been reported to the ASA, and there's a new Zoe coming. Let's get into the serious news about Nissan-Renault alliance. They were reported to the ASA, which is the Advertised Standards Agency here in the UK, about their advert being misleading about needing 30 minutes to get to an 80% charge. What the Advertisement Standards Agency argued was that this was dependent on a number of conditions. For example, multiple rapid charges, etc. were thrown out of that equation. And they deemed the advert to be misleading. And because of that, Nissan can no longer run that advert anymore in its current form. That doesn't say that they can't sell the Nissan Leaf anymore. It doesn't say that the, you know, anything else about people who've bought them in the past. It just says in the advert, in that current form, they can't run it. So that's been stopped, which is good because it was slightly misleading for people who might want to do multiple rapid charges. Now, I'm not saying in any shape or form that the Nissan Leaf is a bad car and that if you buy it, you're going to suffer with Rapidgate. 90% of the people who will buy the Nissan Leaf will more than likely never ever rapid more than once in a day and the tests that people have done it tend to show that it started to happen on the third rapid charge rather than the second saying that that is going to affect a couple of people and for those people I do think that Nissan should offer some sort of goodwill gesture as a refund or an extremely high discount when they bring the new 60 kilowatt leaf out which is due later on this year there's also, like I said, leading into my next story, a new Zoe's Jew. I think that's the best I've ever led into another video on my blog since I've done this, so I'm definitely getting better. By the way, if you click subscribe, you let me know that you enjoy my content, you enjoy the electric car videos that I make every single week on this channel, and it helps me understand that you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up as well. So, as I was saying, they're making a new Zoe. Or, at least we think they are. They've spotted some spy photos around the globe. So these photos were taken. Credit to the website down below if you want to link to their article. But they are speculating that there's a new Zoe coming and part of that speculation is that it will have a DC charger and CCS. Now, yes, I do believe that there will be a Zoe coming shortly with CCS. Do I believe this is the one pictured? Uh, maybe. I know pretty confidently that there's going to be a new Zoe next year sometime. But is this a new Zoe or is this a special thing? It full well could be a new Zoe with CCS. But the mule that they've pictured, the one with all the sh weird stickers on it, has one ca characteristic that I wouldn't expect to be in a normal run-of-the-mill Renault Zoe. Now it's definitely a Zoe. 100% I can tell it's a Zoe. I don't think it's the new Clio Hybrid. It's got that Zoe-ness to it. It's a Zoe in my mind it's definitely a Zoe. It's definitely an EV but I definitely think it's I think it's the the RS and I'll tell you why if you look at the roof here on the Zoe it's flat. It's completely flat and on the spy pictures it's got a hump. There's no humps to it. It's flat. It's a flat roof that you'd expect from any stock car. But this spy shot photo has a bump on it. Now, these bumps could be totally there to fool you and make you understand that the car shape is completely random. However, they are perfectly symmetrical on the roof, making me think that it's part of the design. And I think that might be an RS. Now, if you look at the original photos of the Zoe RS, there's no bumps on the roof. But this might not be the, the 430 two-seater crazy cup version of the car this might just be a Zoe with an uprated horsepower system mm, a little unlikely to be four-wheel drive more than likely two-wheel drive but I reckon it's gonna have a really powerful motor maybe 200 maybe 220 brake horsepower in, in a little pocket rocket electric car it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be fun now of course I could be completely and utterly wrong and it's probably just a 50 kilowatt new battery Zoe with CCS but I can't see the humps being on a normal stock Zoe so I think it might be an RS and maybe an RS version of the Zoe with CCS or maybe it'll just be 
a version of the Zoe with the humps in the roof with AC to finish off the AC Zoe before a complete shape change. Now we've had the Zoe, the current Zoe in its current form for six years. So it, yes, it is due a facelift. Renault tend to update their face cars every now and again. So we're probably due a facelift on the Zoe. Is, is this the facelift? Maybe. Give us a comment in the section below and let me know. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to click subscribe here. Don't forget to become a patron here. And check out the other videos down here. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.